What is going on, guys? Jim and Vince here. And today, guys, we have a really special episode for you guys today. Before we get started with today's video, though, uh, two things. One, we're going to take you to the community tab right here. And uh, two big things. And Vince, you know what I'm talking about here, right? So this has 46 votes. So if we can get 50 votes, and I, I, I've only announced it like twice. So I'm going to announce it in this big video here. So if we can get to 50 votes... We will, Nicole and I will, well, mostly me, I'll be doing all Gen 1 Pokemon, other voices slash sounds. So, like, Psyduck, Metapod, like that kind of stuff. Does that make sense, Vince? Sounds awesome. And the second thing is kind of more of a traditional 100-pack opening with a bunch of battle styles, hidden fates, a bunch of mixed stuff that I have saved to the side. So, that has 39 votes. I'm, I'm actually kind of happy that the one with the voices has more votes because that shows more creativity with the voices and just opening packs so that's cool that's that's that but also we're gonna talk about a huge set coming out and vince you're not really familiar with uh this new set are you chilling rain i'm not i know of it but i really haven't looked uh at any of the pictures or any of the leaks uh, ahead of time or the translation so i'm pretty excited to hear about that yeah this set is massive when i tell you vivid voltage might have a run for its money not in terms of price of cards but in terms of secret cards and chase cards yeah, it, i would say so and it wait till you see this set. if you're a gen one i know you're a gen one and gen two fan right big big one. Oh yeah all right so i am pumped all right so what are some of the coolest cards that people are most excited about when it comes to chilling rain so first and foremost there's three sets there's three sets so let's talk about what chilling rain is before i go into some of the Sure. Awesome so is details. it based on a Japanese set? Yes, it is. Before I get into that, it is a set based off of three Japanese sets. I'm almost positive it will be three because they're all together in the same time frame from the Japanese release. So you have Matchless Fighters. You have, well, I'll go into it. Matchless Fighters has cards. We'll, we'll take a look real quick. Matchless Fighters. Let's see what we got. All right. So we, we're starting out with a Weedle, hanging out with a hair across. That's pretty cool. And I like the art. I do too. We got a Kakuna, Kakuna Matata, <laughs> Beedrill, look at all fierce. Be careful the summertime. Don't get stung by the Beedrill. <laughs> Heracross, right? Is Heracross? Yes, yeah, Heracross. Petalil. Little Jin. Oh, there's a Blaziken Ooh. V. Nice, Return of the Blaziken. What generation's Blaziken? Three? Four? So that's Torchic, right? Yeah, I'm, I'm way more familiar with like Typhlosion, Charizard. Typhlosion, Charizard. <laughs> Typhlosion, Charizard. Generation 3. Oh, so I was right. So this is Rayquaza's, right? I'm starting to really like Generation 3, finally. Yeah, yeah I so Generation 3 is an interesting one for me because I kind of fell off a little around there. But uh, coming back, I, I really do like a lot of the Pokemon from that set, too, the generation. The, this one holds. Char! <laughs> There's your little voice. <laughs> All right, Blaziken, uh, Full Art. We have Larvesta, which is a weird name. You agree? I'd say so. Volcarona, Tentacool. Do you know about the Tentacool and Tentacruel episode? Tentacool and Tentacruel. No, enlighten me. It's another banned episode. Oh, boy. This should be interesting. Go ahead. We'll have to do a whole episode about banned episodes. Yeah, and banned cards, too, like Grimer. Grimer. Misty's Tears. Yeah, that name just sounds weird to begin with. <laughs> Delbird. Okay. Hey, Deli bird. He's a Deli delivery bird. That's Gen 2, right? Uh, Yeah, I think so. Yeah, because he was in Stadium 2. I really like that card. Cool. Which was Car Stadium 3, but we called it Stadium 2. There's your next Piranha movie. The Piranha movies. Those really cheesy movies. <laughs> Sharpedo. Jaws. All right, what's what we got here? Um, Sobble. Oh, he's always crying. Kind of like, what's that movie? Inside Out. So Sobble, he's from not the... He's from not Gen the most recent set, but the one before, right? Or is he from Sword and Shield? Sword and Shield. Okay. Drizzle. Inteleon, right? Yep. Rapid Strike Urshifu. Let's talk about Mr. Urshifu. So, Rapid Strike Urshifu is a new Pokemon. I think it's in the DLC for Sword and Shield. And uh, speaking of that, um, this book right here is the new battle style set. All right. So, Urshifu is everywhere. He's right there. Urshifu is right here. There's so many Urshifus in this oh, set. Oh, this is what my little Cubfu is going to evolve into? Yes, Cubfu to Urshifu. 
to Charizard. Aww. Charizard wins. Cupfu's so cute. That guy looks mean. Yeah, he is. All right. So, Rapid Strike Urshifu. Yeah, he's back. But he's but this time it's not a V Max. It's not a full art. It's not a it's not a rainbow. It's not a secret rare. It's a rare. Maybe a hollow. Oh, so probably. Urshifu has three different forms. Rapid Strike, of... Single Strike. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Four oh yeah. Forms. Well, the new thing about battle styles, which it had something with a play style, was like rapid strike or single strike, which I'm not into the card game as much. So maybe you can tell me what that means. I, I, I'm assuming it means a certain type of slash. Maybe I don't even know. Uh, is that chimp chimp chin and chow? Well, Land? it seems rapid strike style and single strike style are from the uh, are from the game. Yeah. Um, yeah. You know, it's so it it seems that basically, uh, according to this, um, it has a secondary type, dark or water, depending on where it's trained uh, and where it's uh, evolved. Uh, and, and then there's also the Gigantamax um, forms as well. So it's a fighting Pokemon, but it it, it uh, takes on that uh, that water or dark type as well, which is pretty interesting. That's cool. Lantern, thunderous. Drax, Drax of Zolt V. Okay, Dra- so it- Dra- Dracozolt. Dra- Dracula with it. A dinosaur. Uh, he looks like a dinosaur coming out of like an apple or a peach, doesn't he? I don't even know Dracozolt. Who is Dracozolt? He is from Sword and Shield, a yep. fossilized bird and a fossilized drake, not known to evolve into or from any other Pokemon. An electric dragon. Sounds like Skyrim. I don't like that game. I like that Witcher is a better. cool looking Pokemon. I like it is. that. It is. It is. It, the swirl. I like that card so. too. Me too. Me too. We'll pull it. We got this. And we'll open up, guys. We will open up. Are you down to open up your booster box on your side, and I'll open up a booster box I get from you on this side on sure. one of the episodes? That'll be so much fun. And we'll talk. Fun. That'll be awesome. Oh, <laughs> look, look, Vince, look, Galarian. Articuno. Do all of the uh, birds have have Galar versions? I don't know. We'll find out. The trio? We'll find out. We'll find out. Let's Dude, see. Dude, that is a cool looking Articuno. It gets better all than right. that. It gets I'm better. Getting sold. I'm getting sold already. Woobat. Ah. ah, that's a cute bird. Swoobat. All right. We got the Hatena, Hatterim, and Hatterim. That's from the new set. Diglett. Oh. That is a weird looking Pokemon. I know it's Dug Trio, but that's creepy. Yeah, I hear that. That is the creepiest Dug Trio I've seen yet. But let's continue. Oh, look at Farfetch. Surfetch. Oh! <laughs> so he's fighting. Yeah. Weird. I, I would a... not want to get beat up by that thing. That was an electric type. Fun fact wasn't Articuno a psychic one we just saw? It was. And I was a water type back in the day. So what do you think Moltres is if it's in here? Well, hold, all right. So I haven't played, I haven't uh, encountered him in the game. Me either. Um, I haven't played the game My yet. guess, so let's see. So it's not going to be fire, like it's not going to be fire, electric, ice, or psychic. I'm going to go dark. You? Dark would be coolest. Yeah, I think dark would make sense. Let's see. Yeah, mask. Nicole does it all the time. <laughs> that name. Grass. Grass would be silly. Let's see what we got here. Kung Kung Fu. Fu. Nice. Oh, Dark. Right. See, did you already know, though? No, I haven't stayed away from a lot of those Japanese set stuff because it, it kind of ruins it. But I, I, oh, that's I did, awesome. I did know it was in the set, but I did not know. I, the first thought was psychic because I don't know, cause it looks like it's going to hypnotize you. But uh, that's a sick Pokemon. Um, Yes, this gets better. Trust me. Oh, look who it is! It's Gen Two Slow King. You like Slow King? Oh yeah, he was pretty cool in the movie. He talked. Yeah, he's also a dark type, wasn't he? A psychic, or was he always dark? He yeah, he is psychic. Let's see. Oh, that's a sick card, right there. It is. That's a sick one. Can't wait to pull that one. Let's see. Uh, Swiper, no swiping. That's what Nicole says. You know what I'm talking about on that show. Spirit Tomb, that's a weird Pokemon. All right, let's keep going. We got Whirl, Whirlipede, Scolipede, Scraggy. 
Scrafty. Uh, okay, let's play Hangman. Nice. Oh, single strike Urshifu. Zangoose. Uh, we got Shaman. Shaman. Lillipup. Hurtier. We got Stoutlin. Ruffles Potato Chips. Bravery. Welcome Lantern. Echo Horn. Now remember, Vince, this is one out of three parts of Chilling Rain. So we're, we're going to get to some interesting stuff. We got some trainers. Avery. Brawly. Dinah Tree Hill. Okay. Let's get to the stuff people have been waiting for. The full arts, the secret rares. Am I right or wrong? So the, uh, I guess people like Blaziken. I, <laughs> I've never liked Blaziken that much. Because there's Charizard and Typhlosion, right? Right? So <laughs> uh, Chilling Rain is supposed to be Silver Lance and Jet Black Spirit. And Matchless Fighter. It's both. Well, three, oh, they're, three. They're, they're sourcing some cards from there? All three of them. Now, keep in mind, this isn't the final of all of them together, but most likely, almost 99.9% .9 chance that everything's going to be in the set, except maybe a full art trainer. Oh, I gotcha. But right here, Blaziken V. I'll actually show you some details of how I know it's probably going to be all in Shelling Rain. I'll show you. So Blaziken V full art. There's Mr... Draxable. Zolt. Lightning. That's a pretty good looking card. Yes, it is. Ah! I want that. Do you? Yeah. I am a huge Gen 1 fanboy and 2, especially. 1 and 2, so that's a given. And there is your alternate art. What do you think of that one? It's pretty awesome. Yeah, that's that's uh, some boss fight from Demon Souls or Dark Souls or Nio or whatever game. And there's your full art Zapdos. That's good looking. There's your That is amazing. That is a stampede from the Lion King reverse. Am I right or wrong? It's like that up. is awesome. It's like upwards. That's a sick card. Two hundred HP. That's a lot of money, this card. I've seen people selling Japanese for upwards of eighty bucks, I've seen. That's just Japanese. And that is a sick full art Moltres. And that's some Kingdom Hearts style, right or oh, wrong. That's awesome. That's Kingdom Hearts style. With I'm Melissa. a sucker for any of these uh, any of these ones that look like they're kind of like a uh, a cartoon style. Yeah, it, it, these birds, especially some of them like Moltres, it's like Maleficent's dragon from Kingdom Hearts. Like, it's, well, so is Charizard shiny, but Kingdom Hearts again, of course. Um, Galarian Slow King. Oh, Cold I like Heart. that too. That's that's trippy. Oh, that is so cool. That is like yeah, Candyland. It it's like Candyland. With Wreck It Ralph, with Slow King, you see it? I do. I like that card a lot. That's a it's an alternate art, so that's gonna be a tough one to pull. Uh, we got a Karen's Karen. <laughs> that's what it's called. Clara. That's a cool looking waifu. They're called waifu, right? Okay, so Karen is one of the members of the Gen Two of Generation Two's Kanto Elite Four. So in silver and gold, when you go back to to uh, Kanto and you fight the Elite Four. Um, that's okay. uh, where the Karen comes from. Okay. <laughs> Avery. Okay, that looks like something from Alice in Wonderland. Brawly. What is that like? Punch out? Dude, that's that is. What's that? Is that is that that uh, arms game on the Switch? Is that what that is? Yeah. Can we just take a minute to point out how dumb of a name Brawly is? What's dumber? <laughs> that? What's that? What's dumber? That or the video game Arms on the Switch? I haven't played ARMS. Uh, it's punch out done wrong. Literally, you don't. the motion controls are broke. They use a controller for mo for fighting. It's so stupid, dude. You will hate that game. If, I like motion controls when I could use them. But yeah. But, all right. So Brawly. But yeah. Very interesting name. It's like, oh, Blaziken VMAX Rainbow. And guess what we're going to talk about in, later in this video? Vince, we're going to talk about what the top five chase cards you think and the set are going to be, and I'm going to say my five, okay? Sounds good. So that Blaziken Rainbow is going to be a sought-after card. Whoa! There you go. There's one. That's a major chase card. I oh, see yeah. Inteleon, Sobble, uh, I think Drizzle. I see uh, Blaziken ready to kick them off the building like Xemnas. 
There's a Kingdom Hearts reference once again. All right. Dr there you go, man. Mr. Mr. Dragon and a lightning bolt. There he is. Galarian's... Oh, yes. Oh, yes. And there's Karen's Conviction. Clara. Avery. Brawly. Oh! All right, that's a good one. So this is a, a reprint, I assume? Because the, uh, oh. the gold secret rares, they're usually reprints, right? I don't know. That's a good question. Definitely uh, light me on that. Because this is actually a gold Snorlax card. Definitely going to be a chase card. Just like Golden Hound Boom. Uh, 12,000 yen? I'm guessing that's a lot of money. All right. Fan of Waves. Pot of Vitality. Kingdom uh, uh, no. $120 is 12,000. You can pretty much just move the uh, the, oh. the decimal over two spots. It's about a hundred to a dollar. So this is about twenty nine bucks. Yeah. Uh, this is a Dark Souls thing right here. This is definitely what that is. Fighting energy. We're back to the gold energies. I haven't seen a gold fighting energy in a since Sun and Moon. You know that, right? So it's just a it's just a regular fighting energy though, right? Yeah, they have Yahoo Japan. That's interesting. Um. That is yeah, Yahoo Auctions over in Japan does a lot of business. That's awesome. Very, very awesome knowledge to know. All right, so what do you think of this set so far? One third. It's pretty awesome. Get ready for part two. All right. Snover. Crustal. Okay. Uh, Bambi. Salt Buff. Bond Sweet. Steeny. A lot of Gen 8 stuff I see here. Zabru. Do -do 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 -do. The root. Sandstorm. Sandstorm. Ca yes. Cast form, sunny form. That's a pretty cute Pokemon. Yeah, that's interesting. Lydio. High Roar. All right. Volcanian V. Nice card. Nice card. I haven't seen Volcanian since Champion's Path. Or is that. No, it's not. No, Volcanian actually is this shiny card from Shining Legends. I'm sorry. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Score Bunny. Speaking of Shining Legends, did you like that set? Pretty cool. I I, I like the Score Bunny art though. That's for sure. Yes, yeah, so some like some frozen thing going on there. I I pulled every card from the Shiny Ball in uh, Shining Legends, but I never pulled a Shining Jirachi, dude. I pulled like ten Mews. It's weird. Reboot. All right, and Cinderace wins the race always. All right, Lapras. Oh, that's a really cool Lapras. Uh, Cast form snowy form. That's lame. <laughs> That's not lame. It's so weird though. Snow runt. Looks like something from the Brave Little Toaster, doesn't it? Snow runt. Yeah, it's like something from Brave Little like Toaster. Like snow. Fro. Frost last. My bad. Whoa. <laughs> Sveal. Sveal. Sealy. Seal e o. But no picture. Nice. Whale rent. Oh, we'll, we'll go back and see that guy real quick. There he is. Whale Ren. Keep going. Come on, V Max cards. Okay, let's talk about this guy right here, Ice Rider Salarex. Have you played a game called Dark Siders? No. Okay, so it's kind of like that. Dark Siders. It's like kind of like he's on a horse, and it's kind of like a guy on the horse. So it's kind of like the Headless Horseman from Disney or something like that. But there's two different Salarexes we're gonna be talking about today. This is kind of like and ice. Yes. And you're looking it up, Vince. <laughs> Of course. <laughs> this card right here is the uh, Silver Lance version. The other one is the Jet Black Poltergeist one. So Nicole thought that was Rapid Ash, and I did too. What about you? I, I probably would have if uh, I didn't know any better. Yeah, that's a really... Is that a bunny rabbit on a unicorn? What is that? That's sick. There is Rapid Ash. Way to confuse us, Pokemon. That's a cool poke. That's a cool Pokemon. Classic Rapid Ash. Glaren Slowpoke. Drowsy. Come on, Hypno. Dude! We haven't got a Hypno full art yet. You know that, right? Really? Yeah, we need a Hypno V Max. Like, not even an EX or GX, I don't think. Quote me if I'm wrong. Ralts. I've seen it enough of Hidden Fates. Gardevoir. Gardevoir. Awesome Pokemon. Shuppet. Shuppet. Binette. Hippotopus. Ooh, that's Hungry Hungry Hippo. Rock Rock. Lichen Rock. That's some sick artwork. 
Sandaconda V. I think this looks similar to Sword and Shield Base. That's pretty cool. Javar Snake. That is cool. Yeah, it is. That's way cooler. V Max. I like that one a lot. Uh, Slow King this time, not getting it. Well, why would there be another Slow King full art, right? When there's already in Matchless Fighters, which is part of. Keep in mind, guys, everything you see so far most likely will be in Chilling Rain. We're just trying to go through these cards Quillfish, Lightbird V, Aaron. The Pokemon's name is Aaron. Larian, Agaron, Ooh, Tauros, Ooh, Porygon. I like that Porygon. Porygon too. Me too. Whoa, that is that is trippy. Teddy Ursa licking his arm. Nice. Ursaring. Where is Ursaring V Max? Tornadus V. That's sick. Even sicker. Do you like that one? Yeah. That's an awesome card. Survival set. So we're going to the trainers now. So are you ready for some of the uh ready for some of the uh full arts and stuff? You ready? Let's see, got some trainers. So what's your favorite part of a set? The full arts and the secret rares and stuff, I'm assuming. I mean just the artwork in general. Yeah, same. Oh, okay, Volcanian V. Alright, so what generation is Volcanian from, do you know? Because I know it's in Shining Blue. Oh. Is that five, I'm guessing? Four? Ice Rider Celerex V. That's sick, dude. I, oh, they got an alternate art with a deerling, I think. And uh, That's pretty cute. That is cute. It's, that's uh, it's like one of those murals you can get like at a painting. That's yeah, I'd, cool. I'd get that spray painted on a shirt down at the Jersey Shore. <laughs> Same with this. Yeah, that... <laughs> That glaring Rapidash is sick. Oh, wow. A secret rare alternate art again. Vince, did you know that secret rare alternate arts are not common as a, like, not common as a pool, but they're not really in a lot of sets. Like you only saw like Tyranitar and uh, uh, Urshifu in Battle Styles, right? There's quite a few in this one. You got the birds. Got the ice celerax, got the rapid ash. You see what I'm going with this, right? There's a lot of yeah. there's a lot of alternate arts. So keep in mind, guys, a lot of alternate arts in the set to chase for. Sandaconda V. I like that one. Looks very similar to Rebel Clash, though. Uh Lightbird V. Tornadus V. That that looks sick. Okay. Can I tell you what I thought this was at first? And Nicole was like, that's not Blissey. I thought that was Blissey in the background. I thought that was Blissey. I'm not even joking. I got I thought it was Blissey. That's Score Bunny, Rock Rough, and a bunch of Pokemon Quillfish getting hit by an F5 Tornadus. All right. Flannery. Full Art Trainer Doctor. P Peony. Puny? Does that say Puny? That's say Puny. Melanie. A lot of ice. This is an ice set. Can you tell? Like an ice set? Right. Like, it's based off of that set in Sword and Shield, the DLC. The um, Guys, help me in the comment section below. The... The DLC, the ice one. The Isle of Armor and the uh, Isle of uh, Your Mom uh, DLC. Mom! No, I'm joking. <laughs> ice Rider Celerex Rainbow. That's sick. Ice. Another alternate art card. Do you see how many alternate arts we have here? Are they going to translate those and bring those over? Do they usually? So... Real quick, after I'm done this, I'll check out stuff that Battle Styles had, and we'll see, okay? We'll, we'll take a look. Real quick. Like, sort of, yeah, real quick. Santa Cana VMAX Rainbow. Tornadus Rainbow VMAX. Flannery Rainbow. I like the, flan the Flannery one. Yeah, it's cool. Medusa with the hair. Melanie. Golden Bronzong. I don't even know this is in the set. Wow. Welcome in Lantern. Rough Helmet. Don't get hit by that spike. And we're back to another Crimson Invasion card. Fun fact for you guys. Crimson Invasion, a set that we cannot pull from several lives. Uh, we pulled the Gold Water Energy from that set. And it's making its return in uh, Chilling Rain. Very fitting, right? Chilling Rain. Yeah, right. Water Energy. Interesting. So that is that. So now let's look at... 
One of my favorites, also. Jet Black Spirit. Got a ladybug. I guess we're gonna have a lady in. Yes, we are. Oh! Let me ask you a question, Vince. Did you open a lot of Shining Fades? A, uh, a little bit. How many times have you saw a Celebi rare and you're like, why, are, why is this a rare? Why is this not a VMAX, right? Well, there you go. There's your Celebi V. It gets better. Look at that. Ooh, I like that one more. Yes, that is. Translate that uh, Rakuten price for me, 320 Is that 300 What's that, $3? $3.20? Yeah, that's what I thought it was. See that? Grookey. Thwacky. Thwacky. <laughs> Rillaboom. <laughs> she said it in her sleep. Psyduck? Psy? Gold Duck. Sneasel, Weevil, Cast Form, Rainy Form. I see where this is going now. <laughs> Love Disc, Tiny Pole. Tool Tapu Fini, definitely from Hidden Fates. Arctivish V. Okay. That's cool. That's a, definitely a newer Pokemon. Mareep, Laffy, Ampharos, classic. Obviously, all three of those were. Blitzel. Zabriska, we call it Zabriska Ice Tea in Moga. Zorora V. Now, last time I saw Zorora was in Lost Thunder, and this card's always a sought after card. Ghastly. Ghastly. Uh oh. Gengar. Gengar. Uh oh. It's not a full Ooh. art. It's not, it's I a like hollow. the art, though. Yeah, it looks like it's Luigi's Mansion style. He's about to take the mansion with his tongue. That's, that's cool. Sableye. That thing steals gems like Abu from Aladdin, isn't it? <laughs> we got Cressilia, Gullet, Gulurk, Inke, Malamar, Cutie Fly, Ribbon Bee. Okay, as you saw, the Shadow Rider Seller X V. Now, these Pokemon remind me of something different. Persona, We're going back to the Persona talk. These unicorn slash horse things horse things horse things. these things remind me of something from persona with that little animal on top more than pokemon so that's pretty cool and there's your v max and i'm sure i'm sure there's a secret rare we're not getting there yet size episode crab brawler crab Rominal snowman Hollowpus, grab block coughing he looks dazed and gassed it's interesting to see coughings as dark good point yep Wheezing. You know, um, it, it's definitely interesting to see coughing and uh, wheezing and and wheezing as dark Pokemon, just because traditionally they've always kind of looped uh, poison in with the psychic Pokemon. Yep. You know, it seems like it's always been like that that purple cards. So it's uh, or or grass. You know, they've either went with uh, grass or psychic, but yeah. it's definitely interesting because poison is a lot closer to dark, which um, in Japanese. Dark type Pokemon are cons are the instead of dark, it's just called evil type. So oh. it's uh it's kind of interesting. Poison is kind of evil. How about that little big smoke cloud on his head? Interesting. Dazleaf, Shifry. Oh, Metagross is back. For, I haven't. Uh, I the only reason why I know Metagross is from Hidden Fates. So trust me, I know who Metagross is. Oh, that's a sick Metagross, E Max. Um, is he from Gen Three? Can you quote me on that? Metagross, I'm gonna say four. Let's see. Let's let's quiz ourselves. Cause if I get this right, I'm gonna be surprised. You're probably right though. Gen three. Nice. I know five of them now. <laughs> oh, Gen two, Blissey. Gen Blissey two. Blissey is Gen two. Yep. If I'm wrong, I feel like it's later. Is it? Gen two. So what about Happeny? That's, okay, that's, Happity is Gen 4. Yeah, cast form. Uh, there's that Yoshi's Woolly World looking thing. That's that. Wow. Wow. Fletchling, Fletchlander, Talonflame, Squovit, Greedent. <laughs> that thing's greedy. Fog Crystal, Guardian Gloves, Gloves of Justice, Rapid Strike Scroll of Skies. Caitlyn. Uh oh, Caitlyn's in the set. Do you know who that Caitlyn is? Caitlyn's a very well, soft actor. What does it do? Well, yeah. Can you read that? <laughs> Let me see. 
I'll, I'll, I'll tell you in a minute. Hold on. Agatha, Piona, Cybul, Old Cemetery, Spiral. Okay, energy. so it's actually a reprint of a Plasma Blast card. Put as many cards from your hand as you like on the bottom of your deck in any order. Then draw a card for each card you put on the bottom of the deck. So it's a recycling. Now, Caitlyn... Oh, oh. Ooh. Caitlyn is a very sought-after card. Like, she's one of the... She's, like, kind of like Lily and Cynthia. Very sought-after. From uh, from Plasma Blast? Well, in Hidden Fates, Cynthia was a big card. In uh, Ultra Prism, Lily's... Do you know Lily in Ultra Prism is almost $300 raw, right? No, I didn't know that. $300 raw. And I'll show you that so you guys know as well. But, yes, uh, Caitlyn's another big card. And that's probably going to be a sought-after card as well. So Celebi V... Full art, Artivish V Full Art. Ooh, that's going to be a big... Oh, there's no prices here yet. Look at this. Zoroar V Full Art. Oh, we got an alternate art again. Again, again, and again, we get alternate arts. You see this? All insane alternate arts. Shadow Rider, Celerix V. I like that one a lot. And oh, that's okay. some good art. There's another alternate art. This is getting weird at this point in terms of... Oh, Metagross V4. That's sick. I thought, okay, quote me if I'm wrong. Does that look like a Blissey Gold card to you, or am I just losing it? It does. Okay, because then I realize it's a full art. <laughs> but it's still a cute card, definitely. Definitely cannot wait. Our rabbit's name is Chansey, Ooh. and there's All your... All right. There's Blissey in Candyland. That's this awesome. is way better looking than the other one. It, it looks like it's... Uh... It's like a Victorian house or something with like portraits on the wall of all the other Blissies. Yeah, that's very conceited of Blissey, isn't it? <laughs> Blissey, so cute. Oh, that's a card that I can see. There it is. Look how much it is. Wait, that's not a lot. Never mind. Wait, how much wait, is wait, 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 wait. Is it say 23000 Yeah. That's $235. There's your card, guys. There's your spoiler alert. <laughs> That's a lot of money. Agatha, that's creepy as heck. Hell, Fiona, Cybold. Oh, ho, 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 ho. major card. I can see it already. You agree? Very likely. And there's that Celerex thing. Another alternate art. Okay, is this an alternate art or is this 300,000 yen? Is that $300? That's three hundred dollars. Uh, no, that's three hundred euros. Go back. Mm-hmm. Yeah, oh. that's uh, two hundred and twenty-eight dollars or three hundred euros from yeah. those two price quotes. That's there. a lot of money. Metagross Rainbow. Okay, okay, this one, this full art was what three hundred dollars. Look at this one. Not even a price yet. No, but that Caitlin is definitely going to be a sought after card. That's creepy. She's mean. He's determined. Ooh, I like this electrode. A lot of people say it's Voltorb. Like, it's electrode. It's electrode. It says it right there. It's it, it, it it's such a cool well, version. Well, Voltorb looks like an actual uh, Pokeball, and then electrode looks not like it. Mm-hmm. Exactly. It's different. And I like this one a lot. Fog Crystal. Echo Horn. Psychic so fighting energy goes with matchless fighters water gold goes with silver lance which does not sound like an ice site at all it just the other poultry guys one does for, for psychic so this one is going to be the gold energy returning from i think guardians rising i think we have this card actually but okay so let's see how we're going to find these facts okay you ready sure According to PTC Go's internal data, Chilling Rain will feature 198 cards before Secret Rares. We already knew we wouldn't get all the Japanese cards in our English set based on the description. Okay, so I'm glad we're reading this. Our set will be sourced off of S5A Matchless Fighters, 70 cards, plus 26 Secret Rares. S6 Silver Lance and Jet Black Spirit, 140 cards, plus 50... Oh, it is all the cards. It is. Wow. No Japan counts full art Pokemon supporters as secret rares. 
Interesting, but those are always in the main set list. Based on the English set description, we know that we're losing three Pokemon V and one Pokemon V Max along with their secret rare version. Does that make sense, Vince? We're not losing many. It does. Uh, this means we're, we had as many as 34 Japan secret rares in our main set. 45 cards in Japan's 244 set will be cut from our main Chilling Rain set. Our staff member, Justin Basil, estimates we're getting all the full, full art supporter cards plus the full art honey promo. We don't know yet how our secret rares, gold and rainbow rare cards will be affected by the cuts. I'm thinking it's going to be either a build and battle box. We'll talk about the set stuff in a minute, definitely. Or V V Max boxes. All right, so 198 cards will be four less cards than Sun and Moon's 202 cards, but it will have more secret rares, making it the largest set of Sword and Shield error. Battle Styles featured 163, 20 secret rares. Vivid had 185, 18 secret rares. Darkest Blaze, 189 with 12 secret rares. Rebel Clash, 192 with 17 secret rares. And Sword and Shield Base with 202 cards and 14 secret rares. Bro, we're looking at double secret rares of Vivid Voltage. Isn't that crazy? It is. So we continue down here. And here. Hello. Our, however, Chilling Rain's main set doesn't approach the size of sets like Lost Thunder, 214, and Cosmic Eclipse. Cosmic Eclipse is easily the biggest set with the most bang for its buck. You know what I mean? Cosmic Eclipse is awesome. I love this set's artwork. I love the secret rares. You like Cosmic Eclipse? Yeah, it's a good set. And I think Lost Thunder is a pretty good... Well, it's based off Gen 2. Japan has been increasing the amount of secret rares they release lately. Here's all the potential secret rares both Japanese and English set will mostly like, get. So, as you can see, we're not going to take out the birds. You see the birds are in there? I do. So we're going to get both three full arts. The full art, alternate arts, slow king, alternate art, slow king. More trainers. Rainbow. So... It seems to me that maybe one of the secret rares and one of the... I hope it's not... I don't know. It's hard to say, guys, but this is based off of right now. We will definitely make a part two about the real Chilling Rain set and what it's announced, right, Vince? But what is this? I'm getting off topic here. Is that an Espeon? Okay. All right. So, Silver Lance. It seems to me, Vince, that we're probably going to get most of these. you agree? Whoa! I, I hope so. Booster box promos. When is a booster box coming a promo? Those maybe that's uh, over in uh, Japan. Maybe that's something they do. Okay. Yeah. So there you go. The next one's incredible. Wow. And you don't want that thing in your room, but that's awesome. So they said there's going to be fifty seeker rares, correct? Right. Interesting. Oh, wait, no. Actual Spiders, 70 cards. Wait, what did I say? It's this, yeah, I think it's 50. It's 50, okay. So, Secret Rares. It's interesting what we're going to see here, guys, but we're going to most likely see most of it. What do you... Let me ask you a question, Vince. What cards would you not want to see taken away from the, these three sets? I, I wouldn't want to see any of them taken away. I really like the... Uh, I, I really like the uh, Snorlax. I, I like the birds. Definitely. Um, That's a given. I like you know, uh, all the trainers are pretty cool, but in all honesty, I'm not as big on trainers, you know, unless I'm using them in a deck. Yeah, trainers come from two different ways. One, like you said, playing, and two, sought after full art trainers that go up in price. Does that make sense? I'm ordering a box of matchless fighters. Right now? Yeah. <laughs> Dude, if I had, I would open with you, but oh man, that's crazy. This set comes out next month, doesn't it? So let's see. Char is Charizandrude. I just ordered a box off of. Nice, dude. I would not take uh, Rapidash, obviously. Obviously, the Celerex is going to be in there because it's based off of that. Uh, I think this is... I think I will be so upset to get rid of Blissey and Celebi, won't you? Oh, yeah. Bliss the Blisseys are pretty cool, especially that... Um, Mansion one. Yeah, that alternate art one. Yeah. Kate, okay, this might be a big problem for the American set. What? Mar Marnie was cut out of Battle Styles. Marnie was a $300 card in Japan, and people were upset because it was cut out. This right here, this $300 Caitlyn card, if it is cut off the set, which is possible, that could definitely hurt the value of the set. Does that make sense? I hear you. Um, 
you know, it, it seen, you know, it, uh, I mean, I, why did people just have a big crush on Marnie? I don't know. They're called waifus. They're waifu. They're, they're... I, I'm, I, I'm aware of waifu culture. <laughs> I, I, I didn't know what it was until now. But, yeah. So many. All right, the so. Girl, doesn't the one girl look kind of like, uh, like, um. All right, click on uh, the second card in the schoolgirl one. Her hair looks a lot like Gwenpool. Oh, yeah. So let's let's do this real quick. Let's do our top five chase cards. Those will be the ones that we don't want missing. Sound good? Sounds good. All right. So let me let me be honest with you here. This set up here and this set down here are the ones I want the most. I'm guessing you as well. I want the I want the Snorlax. I want the birds. Mm -hmm. I want the Blissey. Yeah, I don't. There's nothing in this one besides. I don't know. Maybe it's a Rapidash. Does that make sense? Yeah, the the the, the Galar Rapidash is neat. But I think the top one. All right, so my top five. Well, you know, let's go with top ten. There's too many cards. Do you agree? In no order. Okay. Three alternate art birds. I would pick this one. Wow. This one, and this one. I'll pick all three full arts. Well, I'm already down this. Uh, you know what? Let's get the full arts. <laughs> uh, I like the Slow King, number four. That's a good one, too. Number five, Snorlax. Uh, number six, Alternar Rapidash. And this is where it gets harder. Seven, uh, this Blissey. Probably Caitlyn, because it's going to be a tough card to pull. Uh, is that eight or seven? Crap. It's okay. I'm not going to hold you to a number. I, thank you. <laughs> uh, Selby, Rainbow, and Electrode, Gold. These right here are promos, so we're not too sure they're in there. So what about you? The Electrode would be cool. Um I'd say, so, you know, uh, definitely the birds, mm -hmm. uh, definitely Snorlax. Um, the Electrode would be awesome, but, you know, being a secret rare uh, or gold one, you know, that's that's pretty much off the table for me ever pulling. No, nah, um, you got this, dude. Because guess what? <laughs> you and me are going to do a booster box battle for one of these episodes. All right. You down? All right. But I don't want I don't like to play for keeps, though. No, for fun. <laughs> this ain't okay. poker, man. <laughs> you can have uh, and this. Then, uh, you can have these guys. <laughs> yeah, and then uh, and then the um, the last one would be the uh, um, the Blissey, the uh, Chancy boy, my Chancy boy over there. So we pretty much have the same taste in the cards, Gen two and Gen one, all the way. Pretty, pretty much. Pretty the same. much. Now it's part, it's part of just you know being of a similar age I'd I'd say yeah exactly now I think I think um, some of the gold cards are gonna be cut off there's how many there's three there's six seven and there you know what that's probably a, there might be a couple golds cut off how many rainbows are there no there's a lot of rainbows in this one four seven eight eleven thirteen fourteen you know what maybe one or two rainbows will be cut off maybe even maybe maybe it's the biggest set like it says who knows. But let's talk about something else now. Let's talk about the product you can buy. You ready? Sure. So question for you, Vince. Are you going to have Chilling Rain on day one? Good. I will have it, most likely. Um, I will try to get it up uh, in time for launch on the day. Most likely, though, um, I'll probably be putting it up on, uh, on the following Wednesday. Yeah. Or yeah, I'll try to get it up on that day. But yeah, I've got booster boxes ordered. I've got uh, elite trainers ordered. I've got the blisters ordered. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna try my best. All right, so this is the booster box. Ooh. Ooh. Celerex. Boostery and boxy. Articuno. Zapdos. Moltres. All Galarian form. And wait a minute, Vince, we're getting five artworks. Five styles. Odd. Yeah, we usually get four, right? Yeah. There's the ETB. I'm guessing that's the shadow one. No, that's the ice one. That's the shadow one. Okay, nice sleeves. Nice, nice. Wait, wait, wait. Click on that uh, that again. 
Is this a mock-up? Because I don't... I would be surprised if... Are there even any uh, fairy Pokemon that require fairy energy still in rotation? So like I said, you would be the perfect perfect one to tell me that you know you haven't seen a fairy pokemon in you know in a set recently right maybe maybe nicole not one with fairy energy no i think this might just be a mock-up and someone uh marketing let's try get yeah i don't think this is an official pro uh, image from uh from pokemon yeah here's the thing though i like this Oh, look at the cute little Mew coin. Oh, God, I want that. Yeah, and that Snorlax is, uh, he's the real Brawly, you agree? Not Brawly. Oh, yeah. He's the real one. Uh, I got the, the, this one right here with Eevee. Eevee. I want that too. Yeah, Eevee's getting struck by lightning. We got to save it. We got. Oh. Oh, Fanfy as a, uh, as a. Yeah, uh... I'm fine. I don't want him. I don't think I'm getting those, by the way. Yeah, uh, I, I might be, but I doubt it. Yeah, I I'm not a fan of those. They're terrible pools. Uh, what's fan fees of all form? Why do I not know this? Donphan, uh, Donphan, Don, Donphan, Don Fan or something. I would take I, I would take that over him. Or Pico. Okay, he's pretty cute. Or Pico Energy. <laughs> okay, dude. These things are. Let's talk about building battle boxes. These things ever since the craze of Pokemon spiraled in 2020. These build and battle boxes are literally going for hot money right now. Like, the I, I remember I bought one from you from a what was it, Vivid Voltage? And I pulled Charizard, got lucky because those things, you know, how much those are right now, right, Vince? No, uh, probably over a hundred dollars a box. We'll take a look at that in a minute. Um, what the heck is this? Those are the mini portfolios. Uh, every set pretty much has had them. There's one pack as well as a, a little little binder that tiny binder that holds some cards and these are probably the artworks from the etbs most likely so that is that so a lot of product and uh i want i want to ask you something real quick uh is it going to be a, do you think it's gonna be limited print or you think it's going to be like like revolt clash like where you can get it or do you think it's still going to be i think it's gonna be very limited because of how shining fates and vivid was that makes sense i doubt it i, I imagine uh you know, I, I imagine it'll be somewhat, you know, hard to get, but I, I don't think it'll be as crazy. I think they're probably going to print more than they did of what, you know, the last set. Yeah, and Hidden Fates is the only set that's literally gotten reprinted this so many times, but the prices, you'll be surprised of how the prices just keep going up in Hidden Fates. I think Umbreon's nearly at 200 at, at, It probably is. Okay, so I want to talk to you about something else. Uh, you said that every Wednesday or something, you're going to be putting stuff on the site, right? I am. Awesome. So, what are we looking forward to today? All right. So, I'm I'm hoping to have some stuff put up online that I've had a couple put to the side just so I didn't oversell. Um, yeah. So, it'll be a, a definite assortment, but we might be talking like six of a certain thing. Like, for instance, um, I'm going to see if there's any ETBs that are uh, kicking around. I don't know for sure that there are. Um, I'm I'm gonna see. Uh, it's probably gonna be a couple like gift box type boxes. Um, I'm gonna see. I think I have. I might be able to put up a couple booster boxes of Vivid. Um, so we're gonna see what uh, what we can do there. Vivid. Yeah, I mean I've had Vivid packs up for a while. Oh man. So are, now, do you know booster boxes like today are not the hundred dollars, hundred ten dollars anymore? That's a that's that's old news. It's always two hundred now. It's ridiculous. Like, how much is a vivid booster box right now? Three hundred now. I have one sealed, by the way, in my safe. Um, let's see. I have it sealed. I don't want to open it. You know, why I don't. Vince, why do you think I want to open it? Because you won't get the cards you want, and you'll be upset. I pulled Pikachu already. Rainbow. Ah. Uh. I don't see a vivid booster box on Amazon is going for about two fifty. Two fifty nearly around three hundred bucks. So how much is a battle style on like one fifty? So vivid booster boxes on eBay. By three hundred. Um I'm seeing some buy it nows in around the two hundred and fifty supposedly one fifty, but I oh it's from China, so it's probably bull. Yeah, it's probably fake. 
um, battle styles. Yeah, 150 probably, which should, should not be 150 on day one. But if you go to retreatcross.com, you can get the booster box well, for a good price. Right, right, right It bitch? should be 150 on day one. Here's the thing. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, at the store, a pack is four bucks, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Times 36. So four times 36. 144. You're right. Hmm? But yeah, 144 bucks. It should be at least 120. Yeah, why were um, they? Why were it, they like the, hundreds? Is that because like cards weren't sought after and it wasn't that crazy? Because the bottom fell out of it. Everyone on at, on on the internet sells everything for as low as they possibly can, and the problem is, you know, the uh, if you're selling a box on Amazon for a hundred bucks and then you're losing fifteen dollars to uh, to Amazon. Now you're at 85 bucks because that's what your fee is, at least 15%. Yeah. You know, a lot of the distributors are selling them for that or, you know, sometimes slightly more. So there's just no way to make any money on it, literally. Yeah. Like, that could be your cost, that same amount that you would be bringing in. So, yeah, so it's about time. Why do it? It's about time those prices went up. Like, I, so, 150 I think, in prediction, I think this booster box in two months after release is going to be almost $200. Uh, it's because of the, the, the cards. You know what I mean? It's, it, that's it could what, be. I can't wait for this set. And yeah, so I was a fan of Vivid. I'm excited. Yeah, me I'm too. I'm excited. Thank you for telling me about it, Jim. I really enjoyed this. Anytime, man. And uh, I want to add something real quick to uh, last week's episode about Target. Target, sure. as of right now, one per customer per day. No more. Getting back in line, no more one of each product. One, 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 just one. It's it's getting crazy. It's getting to the point where Target's probably gonna stop selling Pokemon cards. It's ridiculous. But Walmart has no limits. But I just want to add that in there real quick. But uh, so yes. Hey, if they stop selling it, that's more for the independent, you know, small shops like me. Exactly. You know, if I had, you know, if I had access to a thousand booster boxes, I would throw them all up on the website for, you know, 105 bucks, 110 bucks. Yeah. You know, the problem is when you get, you know, 40 uh, elite trainer boxes or, or 100 elite trainer boxes or something, and they can be sold in literally two days, you know, it, it's, uh, then you don't have anything to sell. So if if uh, if you know Walmart and Target got out of the card business and more of the smaller independent you know shops like us, good for you. Would then yes. have access to products, yes, and we'd be able to sell them at retail, you know, all day long for you know days on end without having scalpers get up at six a.m. eating lunchables and Taco Bell in the car right. and taking all the stuff. Yeah, exactly. I agree with you one hundred percent, man. So today, a recap. Let's do a recap real quick. So we have. Let me see if I get the right set here. All right, so recap. We have three big sets coming out. We're going to probably have some cut cards. Uh, hopefully the cards aren't cut. No, that, that would be a real scam, wouldn't it? <laughs> but uh, this set right here, I am very excited for because it's got the birds, like you said, and the Golden Snorlax and the Slow King. So we're looking at a massive first part of Chilling Rain just right here alone. Then we take it down here, and we have the 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 middle the mid range. I would say of this set, I would say the Rapidash uh, and the uh, Tornadus and some of the full art trainers are cool. And then we get to another tough part to pick from. I think this in the Matchless Fighters is my favorite because you got Blissey, Caitlyn, you got Celebi, you got Rainbow Celebi, Rainbow Metagross, Electrode Gold. So you're looking at a massive set. You also Got to keep in mind, we got a lot of stuff here, a lot of products. So make sure you check out RetreatCost.com. We are sponsored by RetreatCost.com. Thank you so much, Vince. What do you want to do for the next episode? Let's give let's give the viewers a little sneak peek. Do you want to do uh, maybe uh, uh, maybe like a battle? So we'll talk about our favorite. Maybe we could talk about the generations of Sword and Shield, X and Y, and Sun and Moon. And we'll talk about our favorite sets and our least favorite sets. And we'll open some cards from those sets. What do you think? Sure. I mean, uh, if anyone has any suggestions or ideas, throw them in the comments. Yes. Yes. Some ideas. Yeah. Yes. We're all open for feedback. Some ideas I had um, included, uh, you know, talking about the different gimmicks throughout the years. You know, the Megas, the uh, Level Xs, the uh, the EXs, the GXs. Yeah. Uh, all that stuff. All those little uh, break, for instance, all of those little uh, changes they've done. Yep. Um, 
you know, uh, just the quality of cards, the transition from Wizards of the Coast over to the Pokemon Company. Um, there's a lot of different ideas for card-specific questions. Another idea we had was uh, an episode where I kind of tell Jim about, uh, you know, some banned episodes of the anime or, uh, you know, some major changes or things that he might not be as familiar with. Yeah. But, uh, you know, maybe that's stuff you've all heard before and it'll be boring for you. So, you know, let us know. We're open to feedback. We're open to suggestions. We're open to ideas. How about, how about I got one for you. How about a collection video of our best cards? That would be fun. I've definitely got, uh, you know, I've got binders uh, over there. That's for sure. I've got, uh, let's see if this, oh, there, there's also just so much cool, you know, junk I have around here. Um, you know, there's a, there's a lot of cool Pokemon collection stuff, but over there I've got all my binders from over the years. Um, and my fiance's awesome. got her binder. So there's a, that's There's awesome. definitely plenty of cool stuff we could show each other. We could talk about our childhood with the cards. I could talk about how mine were stolen. Again, more in depth this time. We can talk about how you held on to your cards. We can talk about uh, the cards we have today. I can tell you about the Charizards we have. And then we could, we could open packs to have Charizards in them. We can do a lot of cool stuff. So let us know yeah. in the comment section below what you guys want to see next. Yeah, I mean, I haven't, I've never been in your room to actually see all your cool stuff either. You know, just because we met during COVID. But, uh, you know, it'd be cool to see a showcase. You know, maybe if you guys are interested in seeing some of the some of the games. You know, I've got some uh, old retro game collections. or some cool stuff in there. Um, yes. I'll show you guys my copy of Pokemon Typing Adventure. Learn to type with Pikachu <laughs> for the DS. Or that Pikachu but, uh, game. Hey, you, you Pikachu. Know, yeah, I've got Hey, you, Pikachu over there. I've got a uh, Pikachu Nintendo 64. Okay. So guys, if you like this video, make sure you click like. If you didn't like it, tell us why in the comments. Um, you know, make sure you're subscribed if you want to see the next episode. We're trying to put out videos every single Wednesday. Exactly. And uh, I mean, you know, that's it. We're here. We want to talk about Pokemon. We want to talk about the card game. We want to go not just uh, not just Sun and Moon, not just Sword and Shield, not just X and Y, not just Ruby and Sapphire, not just Black and White. We're going all the way back. Where are we going, Jim? We bring a blast from the past as we travel back to basics with the Back to Base Set podcast. Thank you for watching, guys.